Hi there! Happy Saturday or whatever day of the week it happens to be when you're watching this video. Uh, and speaking of videos, I'd like to apologise in advance for any choppiness here because I'm doing this all on my own. Unfortunately, my wife, Gina the Gorgeous, is a realtor, which means she has to work at the weekends. So, at the weekends, this, this is where you'll find me, at the kitchen table, doing my hobby projects. Now, one of the things I really, really like doing in my hobby projects is to use antique analog meters because I think they look so cool. It's a bit hard to see here, but these plastic boxes are jam-packed with some of the meters that I've picked up over the years at Hamfests and uh, electronic flea markets and they're all waiting to be brought back to life in future projects. And speaking of projects, here we see the prototyping jig for my Enumerata prognostication engine and as we see this boasts five of these antique meters. These are the ones that I've been blogging about creating the new face plates for them and having them refurbished and the whole thing I think is starting to look very very tasty indeed. So this is the project I'm currently working on, it's my veterinary clock. Uh, as you can see we've got a big meter for the hours, medium sized meters for the minutes and seconds and a smaller meter for the uh, tick tock metronome type effect. Uh, plus we've got a really cool vacuum tube and we're going to have uh, LEDs underneath there changing the colors. I'll show you that in another video. So this is a close-up of the front of the veterinary clock and I should note that this is just a, a prototyping jig, it's not the real thing, it's just so I could get a feel for the meters and start creating the wiring harness. The actual uh, case is going to be made out of ebony and the front panel is a sort of wood veneer that's got an aluminum tinge to it so it's going to look very art deco. I think you'll agree it's starting to look very very tasty indeed. I cannot wait to get this little beauty up and running and I'll be doing that just about as soon as I finish this video. Ha! Back again. So you're probably wondering why I'm waffling on about all of this. Well ESC Boston is racing towards us in May uh, and at ESC Boston we're going to have loads of technical tracks, software, hardware, prototyping, teardowns, all of that sort of thing. But we also have something called the Fantastical Theatre of Engineering Innovation. And this is sort of like a, a separate track. It's for wild things, wacky things, something, you know, things that are a bit offbeat. And one of the presentations is going to be me talking about using awesome analog meters. And there's a lot of tricks involved in this sort of thing, like working out uh, the coil resistance without blowing the coil up, uh, finding the meters in the first place, refurbishing them, creating the new face plates. Uh, the circuits that we use to drive them, characterizing them in case they've got a non-linear movement and if they have, how do we uh, address that problem. Uh, so I'll be covering all of this in this track so I really hope to see you there. Uh, I'll be the one in the Hawaiian shirt so if you see me strolling along just grab me and shout how Max and uh, I very much look forward to seeing you there.